YouTube, welcome to my series, Sewing for Old School R&B and Jazz Clubs. Okay, that's what I'm sewing for this summer. Although we're going to other places, I, I'll just throw that in now. But this is the series specifically designed for going out in the evening to, say, an old school R&B, jazz club, that type of venue, with which there's an older crowd um, there. So, this is pattern $59.98. And if you see that, it's $59.98. Now, I took in the neck a little bit, and it still is some. I wish I would have took it in a little more. Because I, um, it's not bulging or anything. It's kind of flat when I put it on. But it, it's just next time, and I will do this ne uh, uh, another time because it was such a good sew up and it looks so good on that I will do it ne uh, again. But I will make that modification and probably do a different neck. I couldn't do a, I have to do more of a rounded neck because of the curves here just how it is so it has to have I couldn't do like a v-neck or something like that I don't think it would look good on this um, dress but I would tighten that neck up just a bit um, and let me just let you see the bottom and I did make the modification where I pulled this in so it's kind of close I haven't um, hemmed it it's gonna fall right below my knees um, and I, the sleeves are going to fall right here. Um, haven't hemmed that yet either. So, but I'm pretty much done. I just got hand stitching to do. And I did have to, the adjustments I had to make to the pattern was, um, I had to make the arm hole bigger. My honey made the arm hole bigger. Did the pattern adjustment and he adjusted here and here the back and the front and if here this we had a lot of fabric here so I had a zipper there and when I pulled this in I realized I didn't really need a zipper so I didn't I just I didn't put the zipper back in but I am loving um, the look of this there are some strings and whatnot that I have to kind of um, I have to kind of um, take off but this was great fabric because the fabric had let me show you a piece this a piece yeah here's a piece fabric had this print on one side and that print on one side so to cut it I just kind of folded it to the center and cut it like that and I was able to and I got quite a bit left I think it's four yards. I got four yards of this. Um, can't really remember where how much I got, but um, this is. Uh, I'm loving this dress. I'm loving how easy it was. It was pretty much self-explanatory. Um, it. I didn't follow the directions because I usually like the stitch. I did do a, a mock on my um, paper, on my um, graph paper. And we did these sleeves and made sure it fit and whatnot. But I knew it wasn't gonna be true because it, this is stretchy. So I knew this could still end up being um, too big. You know, like not fit it. So when I do it, when I do patterns, when I do patterns, I usually try to put it together on Tina to say. And I do all of this. And then if I need to make adjustments, I can just, you know, bring it in. But I, I did this piece and I did the zipper and I never do that. I never do the zipper until I know. But somehow I did the zipper for some reason. But I usually put it together and see the fit. And then I go and mess with the, um, the other things and whatnot. But yes, I would recommend this pattern. I would recommend this dress with some modifications. What I would tell you to do, if you're if you're a straight size and you can wear a straight and you're down the row and everything, you know, then 
you're not really going to have any problems with this dress. I think you should kind of um, adjust, maybe think about the neck because the neck might need to be adjusted. I don't know. But I love this pattern, love this dress, and I will definitely be doing this again for the first Jazz Club R&B So Along. I'm going to wear this to Mint Condition concert in Philadelphia with some black um, peekaboo toe shoes, heels. They're like platform, and, uh, but it's going to look good with this dress. Yeah. I'm, I'm very happy with how this came out. Now I'm going to be thinking about my next dress because on the next event, I think, is, I think I have like, I got to look at the calendar because I got so many things. I do believe it's um, Free to Pain Manhattans. I think Free to Pain is Friday. Manhattans is the, um, is the Saturday. And then Angie Stone. I got three things coming quick in May. Then my daughter's graduating from college, but I already have her outfit done. So that's done. But I need to do pump out two outfits, but I got a little time to do those two outfits, but I might pump out three so I can have some choice. I might even pump out four. I, you know, I don't know. I was telling my honey, good thing I don't work because if I work, you know, we be having a problem here. <laughs> but anyway, so um, I, I'm going to look through my patterns and try to come up with something right now that, um, and I got fabric. I got quite a bit of fabric. And I got quite a bit of pattern, so there has to be something. I kind of want something with a flurry sleeve on it, you know. Something like the polka dot, but um, a little dressier. Um, my might be princess seam, because I feel princess seams work well with me, because I can, you can adjust all of these seams. Whereas if you have something here, you're only adjusting here, or you're darting. Here, you can... You can make your adjustments, and I think the fit, it gives me a better fit in the end. So, I am um, i don't want to do this dress again right now. I want to do another dress. I might do this for Angie Stone's concert in a, in a green. I, I, I don't, I'm not 100% sure, but, you know, but I love how this dress came out. And I would say yes to the dress. Say yes to the dress. This is... 